Indeed it is Wednesday, which means it's Book Wednesday, but you already talked about it was yesterday, so I don't know if I'm still supposed to do that, but I will because the book nerds like that. Um, today is awesome because, because it's not Tuesday. Yesterday, I almost fainted because I gave blood and I still have a band-aid on it because it was kind of bleeding this morning, but my blood, usually when I give blood, it's really slow and it takes a long time. So I decided to see what happens if I drink a cup of coffee literally right before donating blood. It went really, really fast. They're like five minutes to ten minutes, closer to five minutes fast. And I got really, really hot and nauseous and dizzy and it was bad. And the nurses were really, really, really sweet to me, but it was scary. So today's awesome because that didn't happen today. Um, and I feel better today. Yesterday I was really, really, really tired the whole rest of the day after that and dizzy. But now I'm not. So that's why today's awesome because I can actually stand up for extended periods of time without feeling like I'm going to fall over. But if I am supposed to talk about a book, one amazing thing is the book that everyone is reading at Maryville, the freshman I mean, because there's like a one book every year that they're like, oh, you should read this, and I'm only this far in it right now, I'm on page 62, but so far it's really good, it's about these people that get trapped in an airport because there's an earthquake, and they're all going to India, but for different reasons, and so far there's not, like, a lot of what's on the back of it, but they basically are just stuck there right now, and they're freaking out trying to figure out what to do, and then you get to know, like, how each of the characters ended up there, and why they're all going to India, and their background stories, and it's gonna be really sweet, and everyone from all different walks of life is gonna come together, and it's probably gonna be kind of sappy, but so far, it's pretty good. Um, but that's Book Wednesday for ya. Also, I'm super excited for you to come home next weekend, even though that means you're gonna get surgery. But that also means I get to see you and read your book that you're writing, which I'm excited about because then it will add to the book that Kimberly's writing, which is kind of a spin-off of the book you're writing. So, that needs to happen. Um, anyway. Not much new and exciting other than me almost passing out yesterday. Mmm. Nope. My life's boring. I had an English test today that was pretty easy. And then we had to switch. We were doing peer reviewing on our rough draft this time. I don't like peer reviewing. Because peers are not always the best. And teachers know what teachers want. Peers don't know that. Peers don't have doctorates. No. That's not helpful to me. And my paper was twice as long as, um, kind of the, it was twice as long as the minimum word limit, but it wasn't twice as long as the maximum, so that's okay. And I have a feeling my peer review is gonna be like, your paper's too long. But really, my English professor said that those were just guidelines, and it doesn't matter as long as it's past the minimum requirement, so, that's not going to be helpful criticism, but I can almost guarantee it's going to happen. But anyway, I'm excited to read that book when you bring it home to me because St. Charles Library doesn't have it, which is dumb. But I'm excited because it sounds like a really good book, and you tend to have, you know, kind of similar opinions to me on books. And I really am concerned that you think that's the best book ever. Ever, ever, ever? Ever? Really? That's a tough one. I don't know if I could say that about any book. Probably the closest would be Looking for Alaska by John Green. But, I, still, best book ever, ever, ever? Anyway, don't forget to be awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow.